light, including the fact that he passed away hours before he was found. I'll be honest, it never gets easier reporting on stories like these, but nonetheless, we want to make sure you guys are always up to date with the latest information on Mac Miller. As you guys know, I'm Madison Hill. Let's get right to it. As you all know by now, Mac Miller tragically passed away from an apparent overdose last Friday, and since then, more details about that day's events have come out. Recently, TMZ reported that Mac Miller hosted a party the day before he was found at his home in the San Fernando Valley. And now it sounds like there's going to be much more investigation into that party because of the timeline when it ended to when he was found. Sources reported to TMZ that Mac's friends were at his house hanging out until, quote, the early hours of the morning. Sadly, we know Mac Miller was not found until noon that day. Unfortunately, this means Mac Miller's body was left for several hours before police and EMTs got there. As far as there being any more information as to Mac's cause of death, that is still deferred according to his death certificate. TMZ reports that the toxicology report can take anywhere from four to six weeks to come back, so therefore we still don't know what drugs caused Mac's overdose. Considering his house was reportedly wiped clean before police got there, except for a tiny amount of a white powder substance, the toxicology report will hopefully be able to tell a better story of the events that went down at the party and the morning of his passing. As of right now, Max's body is currently making its way to his hometown of Pittsburgh for a hometown funeral service. Sources told TMZ that there will be a Jewish service for him held in the city later this week, and this will be on top of a vigil fans already held for Mac earlier this week at a park in Pittsburgh. Clearly, those in Mac's life are still green and that includes Ariana Grande. As we told you guys yesterday, she will now be putting her wedding on hold because of Mac's passing. A source told Life and Style magazine, quote, she was on cloud nine planning the big day, but Mac's passing has really shaken her up. The source went on to say that Pete is, quote, fine with this decision, and quote, he knows Mac's death is incredibly difficult for her. Aside from Ariana Grande, her brother Frankie Grande is also struggling with the news. He recently took to his Instagram and posted a long and heartfelt tribute to Mac, saying that Mac was a, quote, good friend and wonderful to Ariana. He also credits Mac for being the reason why he went to rehab to get sober from drugs and alcohol. Okay, you guys, I want to hear your thoughts on this latest update about Mac Miller. And please, while you're at it, continue to offer those closest to him your thoughts and prayers down there in the comments. For the full story on Ariana postponing her wedding, check out our video. And for updates, subscribe to Holly Scoop now. I'm in love with your body Oh, why, oh, why, oh, why, oh, why Come on now, follow my lead Oh, oh, why, oh, why, oh, why, oh, why I'm in love with your body Oh, why, oh, why, oh, why, oh, why Come on now, follow my lead Oh, I just want your love Nobody else can get this stuff from me Oh, I wanna take my time Gonna make you mine Try to holler at me I just want your love Nobody else can get this stuff from me Oh, I wanna take my time Gonna make you mine So baby, come with me I just want your love Want your love Want your love Stand here when I stare all night I can hardly wait till I hold you tight Girl, I'm feeling it deep inside Oh, your touch I've been craving your touch I can only take so much, so much You want me alone, baby, I'm used to it Hands on your waist, baby, I just need you Girl, I know I seem surprised Oh, you 
Acting like you so low Cause you know nobody knows All these drinks got me Take my bottom grill out and do this donkey if I spit all over my computer. Oh, okay. Now, donkey of the day for Friday, November 4th goes to Melania Trump. Okay, now Melania Trump gave her first solo speech since the Republican National Convention this summer. You, this summer. Uh, you remember that speech, right, where she ripped off, stole, and plagiarized parts of First Lady Michelle Obama's 2008 Democratic National of Convention course. speech? Uh, but Melania Trump was back out there, and she was laying out some of the things she plans to do if she becomes first lady. And she says one of the things she really wants to do is improve a social media culture that has gotten too mean and too tough. She says social media is riddled with insults based on looks and intelligence. Uh, Melania Trump, Donald Trump's wife. The woman whose body is a hint of orange because the man she goes to sleep with at night is the color of a tangerine. Donald Trump's wife wants people to stop being mean and rude to other people on social media. It has to be a word stronger than irony to describe this situation. Let's hear what Melania Trump had to say. Now social media is the centerpiece of our lives. It can be a useful tool for connection and communication. But like anything that is powerful, it can have a bad side. As adults, many of us are able to handle mean words, even lies. Children and teenagers can be fragile. They are hurt when they are made fun of. This makes their life hard and can force them to hide and retreat. It is never okay when a 12-year-old girl or boy is mocked, bullied, or attacked when it's done by someone with no name hiding on the internet. We must find better ways to honor and support the basic goodness of our children especially in social media. It will be one of the main focuses of my work if I'm privileged enough to become your first lady. 
No. Could, could somebody please send Melania Trump the article to Upshot posted in the New York Post uh, titled the 282 people, 282 people, 282 people, places and things Donald Trump is insulting on Twitter. A complete list. Your husband has insulted 282 people via social media, but you want people to stop being bullied on social media. I guess it's okay to bully everybody but kids. I, I couldn't read all of Donald Trump's tweets insulting people via social media unless I dedicated the whole four hours of The Breakfast Club to it, and we would have to cut all the Drake songs and commercials and just talk straight for four hours to get through all 282 of these tweets. But let me just read a few highlights. I I really don't even know where to start. Remember when Donald Trump went on a Twitter rant at 3 in the morning against former Miss Universe uh, Alicia Machado? where he called her disgusting yeah. and a con and directed his followers to check out a non-existent uh, sex tape with a young lady. Mm -hmm. uh, he tweeted uh, Chris Starwalt. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He's an editor at Fox News. He called him one of the dumbest political pundits on TV, called him a dope and a really dumb puppet. He tweeted that Michael Nutter, former mayor of Philadelphia, is a crude dope, says he's doing a ter terrible job, said he's a lowlife. He tweeted Elizabeth Warren, called her goofy, a fraud, Hillary Clinton's flunky has a career based on a lie, weak and ineffective, phony Native American heritage. Called her a lowlife. Called her Pocahontas. He tweeted Ariana Huff and said she's unattractive both inside and out, and he fully understands why her husband left her for a man. He tweeted that while Bette Midler is a completely unattractive woman, I refuse to say that because I always insist on being politically correct. Donald Trump once tweeted, 26,000 unreported sexual assaults in the military, only 238 convictions. What did these geniuses expect when they put men and women together? For the record, Donald, men and women can congregate together without any rapes occurring. But that's not the point. The point is, Melania Trump, if you want to work on bullying and people insulting others on social media, be the change you want to see in the world and encourage your husband to delete all his social media accounts. Please give Melania Trump the biggest hee-haw, please. Mm -hmm. The Breakfast Club. Baby, I just don't get it. Do you enjoy being hurt? I know you smell the perfume, the makeup on the shirt. You don't believe his stories. You know that they're all lies. Bad as you are, you stick around, and I just don't know why. If I was your man, baby, you never worry about what I do. I'll be coming home back to you every night, doing you right. You're the type of woman you deserve good things. Fist full of diamonds, hand full of rings. You a star, I just wanna show who you are You should let me love you Let me be the one to give you everything you want and need, yeah Baby, good love and protection Make me a selection Show you the way love's supposed to be, yeah Baby, you should let me love you Man, it's a throwback Can't nobody love you like I do Can't nobody hold it down for you Yeah, holding you tight uh, Girl, let me hold yeah. you Kissing you right uh, Kissing all over I wanna be the one to love ya Shawty, I can love you better If I was your man, baby, you Never worry about what I do I'll be coming home back to you Every night, doing you right You're the type of woman You deserve good things It's full of diamonds Baby girl got him thinking.